Good Friday morning to you. This is the Velco Weather Hazards Outlook, the utility outlook that's valid the rest of today, Friday, through next Thursday, October the 1st. We have a great extension of decent project weather that's uh, going to be lasting into the full weekend. Uh, a little bit more unsettled as we get into Monday and especially Tuesday. Some small thunderstorm chances, a small threat on Tuesday, mainly just lightning concerns as it looks right now. And temperatures mostly above normal, although we're dipping in temperature a little bit, especially for today and Saturday. Then we'll look back up into temperatures that'll yield 70 degree readings once again. No tropical threats nor any uh, wind issues that we're seeing, although you want to see the climatology section. And uh, that is we could see uh, some of our downsloping wind events that typically begin during next month, the month of October. But no issues right now. The tropics are also something to watch, especially in the Gulf of Mexico, mostly in the Western Caribbean, near the Yucatan Peninsula. And the current conditions, these are the six hourly panels here. Uh, we're looking at precipitation well off to the south of us. This is uh, valid uh, later on this evening. This area around North Carolina has been uh, inundated with recent rainfall and it's swinging around this very large area, 1032 millibar area of higher pressure. This has been kind of an area of weakness that we've been watching for what seems like most of the summer, mainly off the southeast United States coast. This is where all the rainfall has been. And uh, here's how the um, models bring it every six hours. So you can see that that basically stays off to our south up until the time we get a little bit of that moisture pinwheeling around the area of higher pressure with a southerly flow. And uh, then we have a cold frontal system up here. These are pretty strong winds up to the north of us, but it doesn't look like they're going to get into our neck of the woods here yet. Um, a little bit of moisture works in along about uh, Monday afternoon, Monday evening, and uh, this continues with that cold front approaching. So you can see we're kind of not quite lining up with the heaviest moistures, but there's still some potential for some uh, higher precipitable water in the area, certainly, and uh, this could bring us some much needed rainfall just not really showing up in the computer modeling as it is now. And that would be along about uh, Tuesday night. And there goes the frontal system, another area of higher pressure to build in. This one a little bit cooler, 1025, not quite as strong. And it'll probably have a lot of high level cloudiness uh, that'll be kind of working over the top of it. But uh, you can see a major ocean storm potentially way down the road. Nothing to worry about right now. The other area to watch is down in the uh, basically the area around uh, the Yucatan. Well, we could spin up something here in terms of the tropics. Right now, nothing indicated. So accumulated rainfall over the next seven days. You can see it's all basically associated in North Carolina, the Outer Banks region, and then back down in the south, southeast and Gulf Coastal regions. The rest of the country, pretty bone dry here. We're talking only about a quarter of an inch. Pretty amazing. And the half inch mark does go up to New York. As it gets into New England, that's, that'll be that frontal system. Really not going to produce very much, unfortunately. And switching over to temperature, these are the uh, next five days max temperatures and uh, the anomalies are going above and this has been the case uh, in the northeast United States. Now it's catching up across the west. Right off the west coast, a little more um, Pacific uh, moisture trying to get in there, cooling things off, off along the California coast. That's good for them. But still in the interior section, still running above normal. Same thing for us. What about three days later? Well, you can see the southeast United States inundated with rainfall. The rest of the country, except the west coast, um, pretty much above normal. We're going to be closer to normal. We're going to get a shot of colder air moving into the region, but uh, it's really not a big deal. Putting hardly a dent into the three to seven day uh, uh, max temperature anomalies. And looking at precipitation, again, this is the um, uh, GFS ensembles uh, centered on Burlington. Nothing going on for the next uh, couple, three days through the weekend, and then we get into this little bit of this noise, and we're not looking at very much. Uh, some modeling has been trying to produce some pretty good amounts, but it's probably not going to happen as it looks now. And in terms of the daily maximum temperatures, this is centered now on Montpelier. You can see uh, temperatures today roughly around the 65 degree mark, a little bit cooler during the day on Saturday. Overnight lows, nothing exceptionally cold. Uh, those temperatures do come back up. It looks like the warmest day probably along about Tuesday. The European model indicates basically 70 to 75 for basically Sunday, uh, about 75 on uh, Monday, and around 75 again on Tuesday. Then temperatures make a little bit of a drop, but not all of the modeling is on board. We get a little bit of a cooler reading as we get into the um, 
oh, mid to late part of next week. Looking at dew point temperature real quickly here. And you can see the dew point temperatures do make a climb. Again, this would be for Monday, so the humidity will be back up. Uh, dew points up around the 60 degree mark. So uh, this will be fuel for thunderstorms. Just a slight, slight threat. And you can see those dew point temperatures will be sufficient to uh, maybe snap out a few lightning strikes. We'll see what happens. That would be along about Tuesday afternoon. Not a lot going on in the tropics. We have Ida here. This is a tropical depression, and uh, it's really not going anywhere fast. This is of a little bit more interesting concern. Uh, this is down around the Bay of Campeche near the Yucatan Peninsula in the uh, southwest Caribbean. And this looks like uh, we could see something that could develop uh, uh, hanging around this particular area for quite a while and then potentially work into the Gulf Coastal areas. It could jump the peninsula and work up the eastern seaboard, but this would be after this period. Right now, no concerns or no threats. That's it from here. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights Consulting.